Hi, okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a few different activities using the infinite cloner feature. All right, first, let's go ahead and bring in um, some clip art of some money, some coins. And so I'm just gonna type in money here um, and hit the enter key. And when I do that, um, what you'll see is, it'll look like this. You'll see some of these blue bars here. Um, look at the one that says pictures and then you can look for some coins. Let's look for some US coins here. And so I'm just gonna click and drag, drop, okay. Um, you can also hit the down arrow here, up, up here and insert into the notebook and it'll put it in the upper left hand corner. Then you can drag it. So uh, a couple different ways to bring in your coins. All right, so we have a penny, our nickel, our dime, and let's bring in the quarter. All right, once you bring this in, um, you can move them around. You can uh, resize them. I'm just gonna decrease the size. So they're not gonna be to scale uh, in this example. Okay. All right, so I've got my coins set here. All right, next what I wanna do, cause the idea with the infinite cloner, um, first let me explain it to you and then we'll design the activity for it to spark some ideas for yourself on how to create an infinite cloner activity. So right now if a kid were to come up to the board and press and their finger on any of these coins, they would actually just be able to move it and drag them and drop them anywhere they want, which is what you want it to be able to do. However, when you're doing an activity, um, sometimes you might want to copy and paste um, these objects, okay? So you would right-click and you would copy and then you would right-click and paste someplace on the board and there's your copy, okay? Um, another way to do that is right-click and just hit clone instead of doing the copy and paste. So that's, you know, a neat little trick here. So the cloning is a, a nice little feature that just makes an immediate copy. You don't have to do copy, you don't have to do paste. All right, I'm just gonna drag all these. I'm just gonna get rid of them so we can have a fresh area to work with. Okay, now, the infinite cloner feature, which is down here, when you right click on any object, you'll, you're gonna get these menus. So the infinite cloner is an option. If you click on that, what happens now is if the child comes with their finger and drags, it'll just drag out a copy, okay? So it makes it really interesting for making an activity. Now, this is stuck there once, the, once you give it the infinite cloner feature. But these, they, they don't have that feature yet. So if I were to come and move them, you know, it just actually just that one item moves. But now if I right click on it and go infinite cloner, it now has that capability to give you infinitely many copies of that object. Really cool stuff, okay? So what we're gonna do now is create a, just a quick little activity. I'm just gonna delete these. I'm gonna go ahead and add the infinite cloner feature to each of these coins. And by now, you're probably thinking, you know, what are some different activities I might be able to design with this? Well, so let's use the um, line tool here. This first one is okay. Um, if you want to do ones with color, that's fine too. But just for our purposes here today, I'm just going to really quickly design some uh, a space here. So let's maybe make a line here just to separate the area. So we have some draggable spaces here. So I'm just like a three column really quick. Okay, um, and while I'm here, now if a student were to move their finger here, they would come here and they kind of would mess things up that we've designed for the board. So what you wanna do is go ahead and right click on each of these lines and lock them into place so that they don't move if you lock them into place. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this line because if I were to take that, the child would be able to move this around. So you wanna lock them into place, okay? Do the same thing here, lock it into place. All right, now 
you could easily just use your pen tool okay choose a pen oops sorry let me undo that <coughs> excuse me and let's choose a pen tool and now with our pen uh, let's make it another color maybe green since we're talking about money all right let's come down here and let's say all right we want 95 cents to be drawn out here okay we might want 73 cents here and maybe 65 here okay so now really the activity now becomes engaging because now kids have to come to the board and show that they understand how to make this change given these coins okay now let's try so click and drag all right let's bring let's go with the 95 cents first here let's go all right 50 75 okay we can go 85 and 95 so that's one way of doing it. But there are other ways. You could bring in more nickels if you want. I mean, so you can see how you can get kids thinking about money just by dragging. A real clean way, efficient, up at the board. And they're coming up and they're clicking and they're dragging. All right. I'm not going to go through the rest of these. I mean, I think you get the idea. All right. So um, this is the infinite cloner tool. All right. Now, let's, let me add a, a fresh page here. Show you maybe perhaps a different activity that you can do. All right. So... Is a new page for us, so I can quickly go back to that one. All right, this one, um, let's do arrays in mathematics, so um, multiplication arrays. So I'm going to make a couple of boxes here, and I'm going to clone this box so that way I don't have to. So this is a quick way to make your on screen sort of worksheets here. I'm going to lock these into place. All right, so that way they cannot be moved at the board if somebody presses on them or anything like that. Okay, then I'm going to make a couple of um, square tiles. So let's go to the square tiles, just really small blocks that kids could, could drag when they make the array here. Okay, um, and I'm going to fill that in with maybe green. Okay, and there it is. All right, now that I have these, I'm just going to make an infinite cloner. So, infinite cloner. All right, and then I can tell kids to come up. I want them to make a, for example, um, let's go to the pen tool here, and I want them to make, tell me what, five times four looks like, okay, and maybe over here we can do six times two. We want them to actually bring those arrays in. So let's take a look at that. Now, bring up to arrow tool. We got this infinitely clone. And so once you teach them about arrays, so they come drag, drag, drag. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off. Okay, so now this is an interactive, it's engaging, you're getting kids up to the board, and they're interacting with the concept that you're teaching them, the multiplication concepts, in a visual way. Okay? So this is the kinds of activities you want to be able to use and design for yourself and have a repertoire of these activities, okay, in your tool belt. So there you got one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four. That's your four, five by four array. 
And if you count all these up, they will add up to 20. And so kids begin to make the understanding of addition is tied to multiplication, and they get it in a visual way as well. Okay? Um, so I'm going to leave you there. I mean, there are so many different activities that you can design using the Infinite Cloner tool. This is just a couple just to give you some ideas of the tool and how to use the Infinite Cloner tool. See you in the next video.